September was characterised by the worst storm experienced in 30 years, with a notably deep depression towards the end of the month bringing large amounts of rainfall and high winds to many areas. Despite a wet end to the month, September was the 10th sunniest on the national record dating back to 1929. Central and eastern England had more than 120% of the monthly average. Rainfall amounts were only close to the average for many regions, and the UK mean temperature was 0.7 degrees Celsius below the 1981-2010 to average. Let's take a closer look at how the month panned out. September began with relatively settled conditions, with warm, sunny days, but some chilly nights as high pressure influenced the weather, particularly in the south. Scotland also saw warmer weather than late August with Dyson Aberdeenshire reaching 25.2 degrees Celsius on the 3rd. From the 9th to the 20th it was generally more unsettled with rain or showers, particularly over the northwest, with the southeast holding on to the best of the drier conditions. Some days were very warm with a temperature of 29.3 degrees Celsius at Rittle in Essex and Cambridge on the 9th. The weather turned stormier from the 23rd to the 26th when a vigorous area of low pressure brought very unsettled weather to most parts. The storm originated as a low-pressure system to the west of Spain, drawing in warm, moist air from southern latitudes before tracking northeast toward the UK from the 22nd to 23rd. At this time, the jet stream was well to the south of the UK, and the area of low pressure was caught up in the northeastern extent of the flow. This meant that it remained across the UK for several days instead of taking a more normal west to east track. The southeast bore the brunt of this at first before the system moved over northern England, causing localised flooding and disruption. Over a three-day period, Ravensworth in North Yorkshire recorded 130.8 millimetres of rainfall. Strong winds on the 25th resulted in fallen trees, power cuts and restrictions on road bridges. A gust of 72 miles per hour was recorded in Inverbervie in Kincardenshire. By the 26th, there were concerns about the rising levels of rivers across northern England and around 600 homes and businesses were reported to have been flooded across England and Wales. The end of the month saw these wet conditions continue with some sunnier spells. There were also some cooler conditions with a few overnight frosts. A temperature of minus 4.1 degrees Celsius was recorded at Braemar in Aberdeenshire. You can find more information about climate summaries on the Met Office website.